So like I said in the previous part, before we get started, we need to sort twig out. So we need a class which we can use to render views. So our view, remember, is in here. We need to be able to render this with variables that we pass in. And this is pretty straightforward. But what we do need to do is we need to require in twig. So all we do to do this is over in our terminal, we want to require or composer require twig slash twig. And that will go ahead and download twig for us. So now that's downloaded, twig is automatically available to, to us because we've used composer. You can see that in the vendor folder just here. So it's already included. We just need to create a kind of helper class to create a new Twig instance, and then go ahead and render a view. So to do this under the code course directory, we wanna create a new folder called views. And then inside of here, we want to create a new file called view.php. This isn't the best solution. If you're working within some kind of framework, this is gonna be a lot easier, not nicer. But since we don't have natively any good templating languages or engines, this is gonna be a lot better. So we need to namespace this so it can be PSR4 auto loaded. We're namespacing it under code course views. And the class name is view. So inside of here, we're going to have a constructor. And all this is going to do is instantiate twig. So we're going to say this twig equals new twig. environment and inside of here we pass the twig loader file system instance and we pass in the directory of our views that's just views so we just pass that in there so again because these don't exist under the code course views namespace we need to use each of these up here and there we go. So when we create a new, or we use this class, we're gonna have a new instance of Twig to work with. So I'm gonna create a Twig property up here because remember we're assigning this here. And we now need a method to basically load a view. So we're gonna have a method called load. This is gonna take in a view, which remember is essentially just an HTML file and we're going to have an array of data that we want to pass to that. So to do this, we're just going to return this twig. We're going to use the render method. We're going to pass in view and we're going to pass in data. So like I said, this isn't an ideal solution, but this allows us to easily get going with what we need to do. Again, you can replace this with any way that you are rendering views. It doesn't really matter. So we can actually test this out by heading over to our index.php file. Just going to instantiate this we can get rid of this for now because we don't have that anymore and we can say view load invoice.php and we can go ahead and check out the result of this now we need to echo this out and you can see there that we actually get our view so if for example we wanted to replace this variable here all we need to do is we need to go in to our view we need to output something within Twig. I'm just going to call this invoice, or we could call that number, I suppose. And once we've done that, you can see that doesn't show anything at the moment. But when we go over to here and we pass an array of options in, so for example, number and load of numbers, that's replaced in. So you can kind of see how this functionality reflects what we saw originally, where we uh, load in something we want to render as a PDF and we pass in data. So we know that this functionality works now and we can get on with building the actual capture class, which we're going to be doing in the next part.